Hello, agentpreneurs, and welcome back to the Daily List Report. Hopefully, you're watching all of the amazing content we have on this channel and you're enjoying it. Today, we've got one of your favorite guests back on, Ashley Muzak. She's an employee here at List Reports, and she's been giving you lots and lots of tips and tricks about social media and Canva and Instagram stories and all kinds of cool stuff. And today's going to be no exception. So while you're here, please consider subscribing to our channel. We're growing nicely. We appreciate deeply all of the support that all of you have given us, your comments, your feedback, and hopefully you're enjoying these shows. So make sure you subscribe, click the little bell to be notified of any future episodes. And without further ado, here's Ashley. Hi, entrepreneurs. I'm Ashley, and today I'm back to go over just a little bit more social media content because I actually realized that we have talked about our social media shareables and our list packs, but we've never actually walked you through how to share those. So I just wanted to do a quick video to show you how easy it is and just give you some tips along the way. So let's get started. First of all, I am on my list reports dashboard, just your homepage, and to navigate to our shareables, you're going to go over to this tab on the left, click shareables and it'll load there. What you're gonna see first thing on the left-hand side is the preview image of our shareables. They're beautiful, stunning. And then you're gonna see that you can select any shareable from that week that has already appeared, right? So we share one shareable per weekday and you don't have to only share the shareable from that day. You can go back, but they do expire after seven days. So after a week, those shareables from that week go away. So my big tip is you may not wanna use this now or today, but you're still gonna to wanna to go down and hit that download button because that way you have it saved on your computer and you can upload it at any point, anytime, no rush. However, if you wait and you don't download it, the shareables do expire and you'll be missing out. So don't, never wanna miss out, no FOMO. You definitely wanna download it when you can. So we also might notice that there's a copy this caption. So we actually write the captions for you and include hashtags just to make your life easier when it comes to posting. I'm gonna show you how simple it is. So you're gonna find one that you like I love this one. If a cauliflower can become a pizza, you can become a homeowner. Very inspiring. I'm going to copy this caption. You'll see that it's copied. And then all you really have to do if you want to share on Facebook is click the share to Facebook button. And then this window will pop up. And as you'll see, all you have to do is paste your caption. And once that's pasted, you have your image. And all you really have to do is go down here and click post to Facebook and you're done. It's really that simple. Now there's one other way to do it. And I'm going to go back to that page. Perfect. So let's say you want to post to LinkedIn or Instagram or somewhere that's not Facebook, right? We have our share to Facebook button. For any other platform, all you have to do is hit download, copy that caption, open up LinkedIn, your website, wherever you want to share it, and then upload the image and then simply paste the caption. Now, the other way to do this is for Instagram, I would recommend going on to listreports.com on your phone and then downloading it from there. And then that way it's on your phone. Otherwise, you can download it on your computer and email it to yourself, just a few extra steps. Um, but it, shareables are really supposed to be friendly. My one tip for Instagram is if you post a shareable, make sure to pinch and zoom out because sometimes the shareable tries to center because Instagram's default shape is a square. So you definitely want to pinch out so that you can see the full shareable. That's just my tip. Now, um, I know some people really enjoy our shareables, but don't always feel like they match their uh, their feed, their branding, their aesthetic, if you will. Uh, so I'm going to go over to Canva, which I've mentioned in some previous videos, and just show you a quick way to customize shareables uh, if you really like the content but don't quite like the colors or the images that we use. Perfect. So this is canva.com. I like to say it's the graphic design tool for non-graphic designers because I am certainly not one. And all you're going to do, they have, you can see they have tons of templates. You can do Instagram posts, LinkedIn posts, whatever you need. I'm going to search Facebook post up here and you're going to see it's drop down. And as soon as I click on that, it's going to open a new template. Perfect. And once it opens, you're going to see there's a blank template and you can really do anything you want from here. Let's say you like the shareable, but you just want to add some branding. I'm going to go into my uploads and you can see I've already actually uploaded a shareable. You can click it, it'll appear, and then you can resize whatever you like. Go ahead and make it bigger, smaller, make it fit, however you like it. Now I'm actually going to make it touch the edges and you're welcome to make it bigger if you want it to fill up the whole thing or you can actually go up to this handy resize button and shorten the height so that it matches exactly but I like to leave a gap at the bottom because I find that then you can have room for your branding you can add a headshot your name your company whatever you, your phone number contact me a little message a tagline anything you like you can add down there in that little space you can color the background whichever way you want you can add some pizzazz some branding again 
up to you. So that's one way to customize shareables. The second way is let's say you really like this quote, love begins at home, but you don't really, this, the colors are kind of off. They don't really match your branding. You're like, oh, I like that, but I, I don't really want to post this image. Well, my tip would be, and let me get rid of this, to go into the templates aspect of Canva and you can find something like this. Now, obviously, there's a photo of a random woman. We don't want that. So then you can go into uploads or photos. You likely have photos of listings or beautiful photos that you can use. I don't. So I'm just going to borrow one of these, drag it over. And then as you can see, I changed previously, I changed the words to say love begins at home. And again, you can do this with the quotes in our shareables. You can do that with the facts that we share, or you could even take the captions and you can still share the same caption with this image. It matches and it works well. Or if you just like the caption and have an idea of your own, create something on Canva, use a photo that you already have, whatever you want. Our goal is just to make posting on social media a little bit easier and a little bit less intimidating and time consuming because we all know it takes forever. So our goal is, you know, as few clicks as possible. We want to get your feed going and get you engagement with your clients. Give them something that's helpful to them or just inspires them, right? Everyone wants love begins at home. Everyone loves that. So that's how to share shareables and how to customize them. And now I'm going to jump back into product just to quickly go over list packs. So let's head back. Perfect. All right. Now that we're back on our dashboard, you can see I've just clicked over here and gone down one from shareables to our list packs tab. And I'm actually going to start. The first thing you're usually going to see is the my list packs tab. If you've never shared a list pack, it's going to look blank. It's going to be full of zeros. Don't let that scare you. This tab is mainly for tracking list packs that you've already shared on social media. So as you can see, I've created two list packs, shared two, had total six clicks on them and I've had a total of seven listings viewed. Now those are pretty low numbers because obviously this is an example account, but for you, that's a great way of sharing something and seeing if it resonates with your followers or not. So first you're actually gonna go into your live list packs tab. And from there, you're gonna see that we have custom list packs and suggested. I'm gonna start with suggested because this is a great place to start if you've never really used a list pack and aren't sure. You're first going to choose your market area, either your default or you can select your own. I'm gonna do Newport Beach. Um, but if you see when your default set, these numbers actually update. So when I change that to Newport Beach, the numbers are going to change to match because these are live. These match the MLS and the data is up to date. So you don't have to worry about these being stale or when you go to share it, right? You're like, oh, I shared this a month ago and then it's not going to be relevant anymore. Not true. We love doing this. So these are live list packs, meaning that they update to match the MLS. If a property is sold, it is taken out of the list pack. But if a property is added that matches your search criteria, then there you go, it's added and you never have to worry about something getting stale or irrelevant or having someone on social media click on it and not be looking at the right information. It is always correct and it's just so easy. You never have to think about it again. You can just share it and set it and forget it, I think is what we like to say. So I'm gonna choose one of these. I'm gonna choose Upgraded Kitchens because who doesn't love Upgraded Kitchens? And you're gonna see that this actually looks a lot like our shareables page. And we did that just to make it easy, simple to navigate. You know what you're getting already. So you've got your suggested caption, which you can still use. You've got your share on Facebook, which is the same process. So you know what to do now. You've got the other two buttons though. And this is where it gets interesting. You can either copy the link so you cannot actually download a list pack because they're live. You have to share a link instead of downloading them like a shareable. So that could be confusing. But if you want to share them on LinkedIn, Twitter, anywhere else, definitely copy that link and then just paste it under your caption. So I would recommend copying the caption, going to LinkedIn, pasting, then coming back, copying the link and then pasting. And that's going to be, you know, a few more steps, but we just want to make sure that it looks great and it's you're happy with it before you share. And then the last button is send by email. And this is because you obviously have your clients and some of them are going to have search criteria that match. So let's say I had a client who really loves upgraded kitchens in Newport Beach and they're looking for a home. Great. I'm just going to actually send by email, type in their name I'm going to say Brittany Meyer, and then I'm going to send it on over to them and they're going to be really happy with that. That's as easy as it is. You can add a message and then you just send list pack now and it'll send and Look at that. It's so simple, you guys. We really just want to make your lives easier. Now, if you don't know what a list pack is, I'll click in really quickly, but this is more of a how to share, not an overview. If you want an overview, go ahead and check out Sophie's video. She's amazing. This is just a quick cover image of what you'll see. You'll have this nice, beautiful cover photo. You'll have presented by you, the agent, view homes, and a nice contact button there. And then when you click in, you can obviously scroll through these homes, click on one that catches your eye, your branding's at the top, they can click through. We have so many great assets. Again, go watch Sophie's video if you haven't seen these. I love list packs. I'm not even in the market for buying a home, and yet I click through these all the time. It's so interesting. Doing the payment calculator, being like, ooh, it's, is that similar to my rent? Would I be able to afford this? I don't know. It's exciting, and 
you know, eventually I'll be buying a home and that's when I'll hit that contact agent button. So these are just really, really great to share on social media. Really easy, really fun. So now let's, let's actually, now that you know what a list pack is, let's jump back into product and I'll show you how to make a custom list pack for your clients. So for custom list packs, you actually have two options. And the first option is on that live list packs page right here, that tab, you see that it says custom. You're simply going to click create new. And then you get to fill in the details. You get to name your list pack. Um, I'm going to say beach homes. Why not? You can choose a cover image. We have a few that you can select from, or you can obviously upload your own. Um, usually a good idea, but let's choose this one for now. Why not? Then you can write a quick description, select your area, market area, add whichever zip codes, neighborhoods you want in there. Set your price range, add bed and baths, square feet, stories. We really let you guys customize these for whatever your clients need. So I think these are really fun. You can also, if you want to only include listings who have schools with a rating of eight or above, you can toggle on that great schools ranking. If you want to wait for open houses, although in my experience at the moment, most things are virtual. So virtual open houses, that's right here, virtual tours. So you can turn on whichever ones you want turn off whichever ones you want, and then you can always come back in and edit that later, right? So then you create your custom list pack and it's going to create it. I think I don't know that I've put, oh, there we go, success. I was wondering, I was like, maybe I didn't have enough criteria, but there you go. So it's gonna create a Beach Homes list pack presented by you, the agent. It's got your caption, you can preview. Mine currently only has one listing because I obviously didn't walk through my uh, criteria the way I should have, but just so you can see, it's right there. That's going to be, wow, that's a nice home. I would love that home. There we go. And then you reach the end, finish, get in touch. Your contact information and a contact form is right there. Your list pack is ready to share. So going back into product, you've again got your copy link, your share on Facebook, and your send by email. And the send by email is most prominent because when it comes to custom list packs, we figured there's a client in mind, but you can always make a custom list pack to share on social media, target different buyers, um, definitely share a, a bunch and just see what catches people's attention. That's a great way to see what your audience is interested in. And it's, it's just really fun. I think they're fun. I don't know. I'm not even buying a home and I just love clicking through these. The last way to do this is going to your property search tab. And this is just basically the MLS, but in my opinion, prettier. So you can just look through, you can search for properties in your market area, outside, you know, at any area, whatever you're looking for. And then if you find very specific homes, right? Sometimes you have those clients who just really know what they want, which is awesome. And um, you can go through and say, okay, they love the open floor plan. So here's that one. This one has a patio, which they're going to love. And let's see. Oh, this one has a pool. Awesome. I'm going to grab those, go back up to the top here, and I'm going to click send three homes. And now this is going to create a custom list pack. You will again give it a name and you can say homes for Brittany. Why not? Brittany Buyer. And then you just create the list pack and go ahead and send it. Now, the one thing about these list packs is because you're creating them with a set listings, you know, like three set listings, um, it doesn't actually update the same way that the other ones do. So this one is a static list pack. It's going to stay the same. Uh, and that's just because you, you're creating it for your clients and you know what they want. So we're not going to mess with it. We're not going to touch it. Um, but that's just a way for you to be even more specific and really just really personalize these list packs for your clients and your buyers. So that's what I have for you guys today. Just a pretty simple walkthrough. I really hope you found that helpful and valuable. And thank you so much for Randy for having me back. I'm really excited and have a great rest of your week, Adrianpreneurs. Ashley, thank you so much for coming back on the show and doing that again. I know all of our agents out there deeply appreciate the time that you're taking to show them these tips and tricks. Try it on social media. Let us know how it's working for you. Let us know what questions you have. And until tomorrow, be safe, be healthy, be happy, and we'll see you soon. Bye.